What's going on YouTube? I'm back again with another video and today I'm doing a comparison video from the Note 9 to the iPhone XS Max. Let's get into it. Now, the main difference of these phones are easy. One is Android, one is iOS. One have an S Pen, one don't. This one have a headphone jack, Apple. This one don't. Uh, this one costs a thousand four, and this one costs thirteen. Yeah, car payments. This one have always on display. This one don't. The only way you can look at your notification if it's on the table like that is you double tap it. If you have notifications, you'll see them right here. This one, all you gotta do is glance at it, and it tells you right there. Uh, this one have a fingerprint scanner. This one don't. But they both have Face ID. And to me, I think the Apple Face ID for the iPhone is a little bit faster than the Note 9. But the Note 9 got a fingerprint scanner, so it makes up into that into that part. The iPhone is a little bit heavier than the Note 9. Given it to the fact that both of these got glass backs. Both of them got glass backs. Uh, both of them have nice big massive screens the Note 9 is a little bit bigger than the iPhone now they're supposed to be coming out with another iPhone that have like triple camera some kind of camera I, I'm not feeling that all, at all just like the Note 9 the Note 10 is coming out had a little hole punch right here like right there I'm not feeling that either so I might skip those two and go get the S10 Plus. Okay. Did I talk about the, okay. This phone, the Note 9, can expand in memory to one terabyte. If they even had those. Uh, iPhone can you get up to 512 gigabytes. Which will cost you 16 something. That's a car payment. Uh, both phones run smooth, no problem. My iPhone lasts longer than my Android phone. Uh, even though uh, I be on the iPhone more, but it still lasts longer than the Android phone. Um, I don't use an S Pen that much. Like sometimes I use to take down notes or something like that, but I don't draw. Like you know, I don't draw. But it's good to have it. But what I didn't understand about this phone, I'm gonna be honest, is that why the S Pen couldn't match the color of the phone. Why I got yellow S Pen with a blue phone and with blue writing, I mean with yellow writing. I didn't see why they couldn't just put the S Pen in blue. I don't know. But anyways, it's not too much difference for these phones. I mean, as in this is iOS, this is Android. You can uh another difference about this phone I almost forgot is you can customize your Android phone to the fullest. Stop being bad, stop being bad. Excuse me, you can customize it to the fullest. iPhone you cannot customize it at all unless you jailbreak it. If it's a way you can customize this phone without jailbreaking it, let me know in the description. I mean the comment the comment area. But as of, as of right now, you cannot customize it unless you jailbreak. Android, you can customize. You can go to the App Store. I mean the uh, Play Store. Let me unlock it. You go to the Play Store. Let me find it. You go to the Play Store and you can look up certain things to customize your phone. iPhone, you can't do that. See, I got only one page right here. I don't have two, but if you go up, all my apps are right there. But iPhone is just just simple, straightforward. Let me unlock it. Okay, it's straightforward. You know, you scroll in there, you go look at all your apps, and you scroll right here. They say this is um, uh, what you gonna call it? Widgets? No, this cannot be no widgets. I don't care how much it scrolls up and down. This cannot be no widgets. Widgets is is you can. I'm gonna show you real quick. A widget is this. This is a clock and weather widget. iPhone, no, that's not a widget. Okay, you got the weather. 
Where the weather? I don't even see. Oh, right there. The weather's right there. But that's not a widget. Other than that, they're not too much of a difference. Uh, Price-wise, yes. Function, functional, functionable, yes. Uh, you can upgrade this to uh, one terabyte, as I said. iPhone just comes to 512 gigabytes. If you run out, run out of that, then you just ask out on the how you can fill up that much. Unless you just got, you take a lot of pictures, videos, and you got movies and a million songs, whatever you, <laughs> whatever you do. But that's the main difference of these phones. Uh, the price, uh, customization. Uh, look, see, always on display. So you can see a notification. This one you can't you gotta tap it. And if I have a notification, it'll pop up right here. Um, notification light none they should have a notification light on the iPhone but other than that that's the difference of these two phones um, if you know more of the difference of these phones or which phone would you choose which phone would you choose out of these two phones would you go with Apple or would you go with Android let me know in the comment section and then like always please subscribe and like and share the video and let me know what you think. Peace.